Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do uh, the falling hearts effect on the icon. So, for those of you who don't know, this is what I'm talking about, the little heart falling. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up a new image in PSP. Uh, make it 150 by 150 uh, transparent. And the next thing you want to do is open up a picture, which this was the original picture. What I like to do to get it to be a perfect square is go to your selection preset shape, selection tool, selection type, set it to square, and then select the part that you want. Make sure that you don't go over the picture size or it's not going to do a perfect square. So then just copy and paste it as new image which I don't know what I did wrong there but oh I see so just copy and paste this new image you want to go to image resize size it to 150 and then go up to adjust hue and saturation colorize and set the saturation to zero so you should get something like that out of this picture. So you can close your picture. And you can basically either work from the same picture or on your new layer, which I told you to open. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and work from this. So just open up a new layer on top of your picture. So your layers palette should look like this. And then flood fill with your gradient of choice. Okay, once you flood fill, go up here to the blend mode, and I'm going to change mine to screen because my picture is kind of dark, but you can also use overlay or color legacy. Um, those are really good. Depending on how light or dark your picture is, you want to go ahead and try um, all of those three blend modes. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, jeans effect. So I'm going to go up to effects and go to my Penta plugin and choose Gene and click OK. I use the regular settings. Now I can leave it like that or I can make it a little bit more dramatic and click on my picture and also add the Gene's effect. Okay. And next I'm going to go ahead and add the text. So I'm going to go ahead and do my name. which I don't know why it's so tiny. Okay. Okay, then once you have your text written out, just add whatever, um, whatever effect you want to. I'm going to do a hued effect to mine. Okay. Okay, so your layers palette should now look like mine. You should have your text on the top, your overlay layer, which is your gradient, and then your picture. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and add the heart. So go up to your preset shape tool, choose your heart, your heart shape, and draw out the heart. It's up to you how big or small you want it. Um, it also depends on the picture. So since my face is kind of like, bam, right there, I'm going to use a small heart. <laughs> Okay, and then go ahead and uh, double click on this little like swirshy thing <laughs> on the on the layer. As you can tell, let me show you because I know this is a little confusing. When you draw out the heart, you just go here to the layers palette and click on the plus sign and double click on that little weird blue thing. Make sure that your stroke is set to none and change your fill color to whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and use the same gradient. I'm just going to invert it. 
Okay, next I'm just going to go ahead and add whatever effect I want to my heart. So I'm just going to do a regular bevel. Add a little bit of a fade effect to it. Okay. Once you have your heart done, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it once. And we're going to mirror. Mirror it. Okay, so you have two hearts. Each going in different directions. Next, you want to go ahead and place them. Something like that. Okay. Now we want to add about two more hearts here. So just go ahead and duplicate each one. And place them wherever you like. So you're... Your icon should now look something like this. Okay. Alright, now that you have your icon finished, we're going to go ahead and work on the uh, animation part. So what you want to do is hide all the hearts except the top one okay then you want to open up animation shop which i have mine's open here okay copy merged and then paste as new image into animation shop go back to psp hide the top part and unhide the second one copy merged right click and paste after current frame then you're going to go back to PSP hide that heart and open the next one copy merged right click paste after current frame then you want to go ahead and hide that one and unhide the last cart copy merged paste after current frame now you also now want to click on the first frame copy it and paste it after the current frame. So you should now have five frames. The first and the last frame should be the same and then you should have the three different frames in the middle. Okay, now you want to click on the first frame, go up to effects, insert image transition, and choose fade. I have my transition length set to 1.1 and frames per second set to 5 FPS. Make sure that animation frame is checked here as well as here and click OK. As you can see it's going to leave a highlighted frame. Click on the next one over, go up to effects, insert image transition and add the same exact effect. Then you're going to click on the next frame over from the highlight and do the same thing again until you do the last frame now you're gonna have 25 frames okay the last frame should not have um, the the fade effect which would be this one because if you add the fade effect it's gonna fade into nothing <laughs> Okay, so just make sure that the last heart, which is look, should look just like the first frame, stays there. Sorry if it's a little confusing, but I'm guessing once you do it, you'll kind of catch what I mean. Okay, so now when I play it, you see how it fades down and then it fades back to the top? Okay. So there you go. That's how you do your faded heart icon. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And sorry if I confuse anybody. Um, have a good one.